on this 99,000 acre installation at Vandenberg Space Force Base in Santa Barbara County, California. We have 42 miles of undisturbed coastline, which is unique for the state of California. We have 17 threatened and endangered species, more than 400 species of animals and 800 species of plants that we manage. People are often surprised that there are wildlife biologists like me who work on base, but because it's got large buffer zones around all of our launch sites, we have to protect the habitat. We protect the animals here because we're protecting the land from a potential problem with a rocket launch. We're working on a really cool project right now with Brigham Young University and Cal State Bakersfield, which is specifically looking at the impacts of rocket launch and the noise generated by them. But the first thing we should say is that a rocket launch makes noise for maybe about two minutes when we do 30 launches a year, and the rest of the year it's pretty quiet. But certainly the animals do react to noise. The Pacific Harbor Seal, they will almost always jump off the beach, but they will also jump off the beach and go into the water when a pelican flies over or an airplane or a helicopter flies over. So they're very skittish. California red-legged frogs will jump underwater where the sound just basically does not penetrate the water. The Northern Elephant Seal is on the other hand, a very large animal that almost never reacts to noise. Most often what they will do is what we affectionately refer to as head lift and grunt, which is exactly what it sounds like. They look up, they go, ah, and then they say, I'm going back to sleep. We're finding that all of the animals are basically saying, oh, okay, they made noise, but I'm going back to my normal behavior within a minute or two. Also, we're putting satellite tags on northern elephant seals. We're looking at the babies. For decades, we've known more or less what the adult elephant seals will do, but no one has known what the, what the young ones have done. So we've been able to put satellite transmitters on them and we follow their movements for many months in their first year. We're learning that the young elephant seals behave completely differently than the adult elephant seals. The young stay close to the coast and the adults almost always go far out to sea. We've also got records on how long they dive and how deep they dive. A adult female elephant seal can dive for 45 minutes and will go as much as two miles under, underwater, which is crazy. The babies can't do that yet, but they can go fairly deep. We've been putting satellite tags on the elephant seals for three years now, and we've been following them going all the way up the coast to British Columbia commonly, Washington, Oregon, almost all of them. Last year, we had one animal go all the way up to Western Alaska, which was amazing. And the good news is she came back. We have so many resources here that are underappreciated because people just don't understand that they are here. It's an outstandingly interesting place to work, and it's a special place to work.